So what is the benefit of using CMV besides it's just bigger? Bigger is great. It has a very broad biodistribution. Uh, we find it even in the eyes of people. So it's a natural virus that you get. We take out its ability to get you sick. We make it deliver genes. We find it in the brain, the eyes, and in pretty much uh, most of the tissues of the body. And that means that makes a very great gene therapy delivery. Uh, it's long lasting and persistent. Uh, it is redosable in animal studies. And that is um, a huge winning factor because AAV does come with issues on um, redosing. Uh, we did both intranasal and injectable gene therapy. So with AAV, we when we do intranasal, we actually have to um, deliver it by a needle intranasally. With the CMV, we were able to just spray it uh, into the nose. And so we think that this could make uh, gene therapy a lot easier for people, uh, redosing easier for people. And, um, and it has a, uh, it doesn't integrate, which is fantastic. But now I'm gonna pop over to our AAV data because we've been around uh, for a long time. And one of the things that we are known for is actually uh, analyzing uh, what happens in medical tourism. So BioViva cannot give gene therapies, but we can certainly analyze the data. And here's the data from 10 patients. And this is the telomere data in the shortest telomeres. So in the average telomeres um, after gene therapy, telomerase reverse transcriptase gene therapy, this is a gene therapy that codes for an enzyme called telomerase um, that, that impacts the telomeres, uh, which are the caps at the ends of the chromosomes. Uh, these, the shortening of the caps of these chromosomes are associated, correlated with the diseases of aging. Uh, 